get the language right tonight. of Islam. Islam is a religion. How could there be a nation of Islam? You know what I'm saying? Read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Read. That the name of Israel, the name of who? that the name of Israel uh -huh. may be no more in remembrance. So we don't remember who we are. Let's teach them religion. Let's teach them Islam. Let's say, let's say that they're African American. Let's say they're Haitian, Dominican. Let's change their name. They won't know. They're in slavery. Let, don't let them read. Keep the book away from them. That's how come we don't know who we are. They stop us from being a people, a nation. So right now we're individual. Yo, you get yours and I get mine. But we all came here together in the slave ships. That's right. But yet, right now, yo, you get yours and I get mine. We are not brothers no more. Now we, they detach us from being together. You know what I'm saying? That's what the Bible says. Gather yourself together, O nation, that desire. Because nobody wants to be with us. And we don't want to be with us. So that's a problem. Read. For they have consulted together with one consent. See, they consulted together with one consent, with one mind. All the nations.
nation, please. They are confederate against thee. Mm -hmm. The tabernacles of Edom. The who? The tabernacles of Edom. Oh, it, says, it says they're confederate. Confederacy together. He's telling you who the tabernacle, who's the first one doing that. The tabernacle of Edom. Read. It's the Ishmaelites. You know who? The Ishmaelites. You know who the Ishmaelites are? Come, sis, come. You, you back. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He says what? The tabernacles of Edom. Edom. You know who the Edomites are? I know you probably know. Do you know who Edom is? Um, I don't remember exactly. Okay. Do you know who Edom is? Go ahead. Come, 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 come. No, no, no. Huh? Edom. Edom, according to the Bible, is a so-called white man. Really? No. That's who he is. What? The so-called white man, because he's not white. He's red. Esau is a Edom. That's the same people. Okay? Esau is the father of the Edomites. Bring it up! So his name is Esau. Then change his name to Edom, which means red. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different history. We we'll can go into it later. Right? So he's the ringleader. Right? So he's the one that takes care of the council. And the long way is who? Who else? And the Ishmaelites. You know who the Ishmaelites are? Ishmael. Abraham, you have two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. So Ishmael is the father of uh, who got a dictionary. Uh, uh, we're going to go in the history books and show you. Let me get the baby names and uh, Ishmael. Huh? Huh? My brother, you come study with us, we give you all the books, you can, you can order them, we have to buy them ourselves. We tell you which book shows who we are. Somebody look it up for me, please. Right, so we're going to show you in the history book that the, uh, the scholars put together. So we don't think we're making it up. We only, we, just, we only we find out who we are. So the Lord opened our mind and understand and show us who we are. And he commanded us and said, he said, go and tell my people who they are. It's time for them to wake up out of their sleep. Now it's time for them to know who they are. Come back to your nationality because I'm coming back to redeem them. But I'm not coming back for the Negroes. I'm coming back for Israelites. Right? Read. This is classical biblical baby name by Judith Trophia. Esau. Esau, the oldest son of Isaac and Rebekah. You guys know the history of Isaac and Rebekah? Right? They have two sons. Esau, right, and Isaac. Right? Was born mere seconds before his twin brother Jacob. So they're twin brothers. Black people and our father are twin brothers. And we are more related to the white man. Yeah. Huh? Jacob is black. And Esau is going to show you. Okay. Esau settled in the land of Seir. So his land was Seir. Right? Go ahead. Which came to be known as the land of Edom. So the land becomes Seir. Don't go nowhere, sis. Right? The, the land called the land of Edom. Because his name was changed to Edom, which means red. Go ahead. According to the commentaries on Hebrew scripture. According to the commentaries on Hebrew scriptures. That, those are the scholars. Go ahead. Esau is considered a significant character in world history. Go ahead. And the forefather of the Roman Empire. He's the forefathers of the Roman Empire. Who are the Romans? Who was the Romans? Where's Rome? That's wrong. Rome is in Italy. Yeah. It was in Rome. In a way, we in Rome now. In a way. Right, we're seeing the, the same uh, of Rome. Here. But the Romans were so called white people. I mean, that's who the Romans are. That's the, they're the one that killed Christ. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So the Romans are Edom. That's what the commentary says. Now let's find out about who Ishmael is. Claim descent from Ishmael. Claim descent from Ishmael. 
So the Ishmaelites are the Arabs. Break it out! The Saudi Arabians, Iran, Iraq, those are the Arabs. The, 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 the place where Islam came from. Those are different nations than the Israelites. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Different people. Let's go back. So now, their confederate, Esau, which is so white men, along with the Arabs, read. Of Moab. Moab, which are the Chinese people. Right? And the Hagarines. Which are the Japanese, you know, the Africans, okay? Right? The Baal. Uh -huh. And Ammon. And Ammon. Japanese. Right? And Amalek. And Amalek, the so called. People that's in the land of Israel right now fighting the Arabs, which are the Palestinians, for the land of Israel. That land does not belong to neither one of them. Right. That's our land. That's, that's right. right. They took us from there, ship us over here, they claim our nationality. Right. That's what we're reading. The conspiracy is let's keep the name of Israel from their mouth. Let them not know who they are. Let's hide that information from them. Bring it up. Why they not putting us on TV? Because they don't want this to come out. So the Lord said, go in the street corners where you find my people, then tell them who they are. Word. Compel them to come in and repent. Come back to this right here. The Quran is not our book. Word. Islam is the religion of the Arabs. Right. It's not the religion of the black men over here. That's right. It's the religion of the Arabs. The Arabs sold us to the so-called white men and slavery. Right. That's right. Joel 3. It's in the Bible. Let's read it. Joel chapter 3. We're going to read the sub-Saharan slave trade that took place, then become the trans Atlantic slave trade. Recorded in the Holy Bible. This is black history. Then I'm going to teach you that in the colleges. I'm going to teach you that in the church. Joel chapter 3 and verse 1. Bring it up. Of Judah, See that? and those that when I shall bring again, we are captive. Do you believe that? We are in captivity. Yeah, yeah. We are in captivity. The name that we have is not our name. We are walking around carrying our slave master's name. Jones is not our name. Good. This is the Bible. This is the Bible. The only true book of this is what they have in church. That's what they have in church. Why? Because. Like I said, conspiracy. The conspiracy is to make sure they don't know who they are. Let's teach them religion. So the church is false. False. They be last one on it. Every religion on the part of is false. Right. They're worshiping idols. Right. The Christians worshiping the sun god. Bring it up. They worship on Sunday. Muslim worshiping the moon and the star. That's Look right. at that, that thing. Half crescent moon and the star. That's what that the, the, uh, thing. The, uh, the, uh, the Kaaba stone, a rock. That's what they're worshiping. But they call him God. You know what I'm saying? So they will kill for their God. That's what happening right now, what happened in New Zealand. It was Christianity versus who? Islam. White people versus Islam. That's the fight that's going on. Who's going to take over the world? The Muslim wants to come back. So they want their, their religion to be the dominant religion of the world. The so so-called white man, Christianity is going to be the, right now Christianity is the most dominant religion in the world. Wherever you go, there's a Christian church somewhere. And wherever you go, there's a Muslim mosque somewhere. Bring it out! I would think it's more churches. No, there's more churches. But there's the competition there. You know what I'm saying? So they're all killing one another. You know what I'm saying? And then we are in between the crossfire. So the Lord is telling us to come out of it. Right. Come out of it, my people. Come back to who you are. Your true nationality. Bring it your, out! Your true heritage. We. When I shall bring again the captivity of Judah. So God says I'm going to bring them back again. We. In Jerusalem. Right. I will also gather all nations. See right now? God says he's going to gather all nations. This is the time we're living in right now. God is gathering all nations right now. For a day called Armageddon. World War Three. They all right now in Syria, right? Every nation is over there fighting now. Every nation is there. That's the words of the beginning of World War III. 
All the nuclear weapons you see they're talking about are going to be used. That's right. We. I will also gather all nations uh -huh. and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Valley of Jehoshaphat means the valley of decision. Go ahead. And will plead with them there for my people. God says I'm going to plead with them for my people. Uh -oh. We. And for my heritage. See, for we are God's heritage. Bring it up. We we'll show you who God's people was earlier, Israel. Right. So why would God say I'm going to go over there if those people that's in Israel are the real, the real Jews? He said I'm going to gather them over there and plead with them. And when he pray with them, he's not going to beg, he's not going to vote. The Bible says God pleads with people with fire. That's, that's, right. Right. that's how he's going to plead with them. Right. That's going to be a war. Right. That's why we're telling you blacks and you Latinos, it's time to wake up. Right. Come back to who you are and repent. Because you don't want to get caught on that fire. Bring it out! You fire. You are not going to be alive. Everything is going to be melted when you read that in the scripture. The only way you're going to be saved is God is going to come in with the angel and save us out of here. Bring it out! With your church called the rapture. Read. And we'll plead with them for my people. Read. And for my heritage, Israel. For his heritage, Israel. We are God's heritage. Not the whole part of. Not everybody. Read. Whom they have scattered among the nations. What did they do with that heritage? Whom they have scattered among the nations. We got scattered. So in, in the midst of us got scattered, we don't know who we are. But in the, huh? Divided and what? Conquered. So we got divided and we got conquered. So now as a, as a nation, that's what it's going to say. Um, when we stay together, we're strong. We, we divide it, we get weak. Right? We. And did, what did it, what did know? And part of my land. They part of the land of Israel between who? The Palestinians and the, and the Jewish, and the Israelis. The land is part between them, read. And have cast lots for my people. They have sold us in the auction block as slaves over here for God's people, read. And have given a boy for a harlot. They used to make our boys breeders. Bring it up. So they could create more slaves so they could sell us on the auction block, read. And sold a girl for one me? that they may drink. Go ahead. Yes. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? See that? Tyre and Zidon are African people. Go ahead. And all the coast of Palestine. And the, all the what? The Palestinians or the Arabs. Right? Look, over here. You got them right there. Go ahead. Will ye render me a recompense? Go ahead. Will ye render me a recompense? Uh -huh. And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense so now on your own end. You got the, the color of the Bible. You got the cost of that. Come, 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 come. Let me show you this. Right? The Tali and Sarah are African nations. See that? You have the Africans and the Arabs. Talking to who? The so-called white men. What they're doing, they're selling us in slavery. Okay, this is called the sub, the sub-Saharan slave trade. Once they sell us to the white men, it becomes a trans-Atlantic slave trade. So they put us on the slave ships, they, they transport us over the Atlantic to the, to the shores of America. All right, read. Will ye render me a recompense? Uh -huh. And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Yeah. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's our man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.